Hello, I'm John Madsen, and this is Building a Web Crawler Part 1. In this episode, we will create our NetBeans project, download and set up JSOOP, and test JSOOP by downloading a test page. Open NetBeans and create a new Java project. Select Java Application to create the new project. For the project name, enter balzi.pagecollector. This will be our main project that we'll use for our initial test and will continue to be the main runnable program as we develop our class libraries. This project will be the entry point to our web crawling program. We'll be using JSOOP to gather our HTML pages and process them. Open a web browser and go to jsoup.org. Click on the download menu option and then download the latest core library. We will not download the source or Java doc files for our usage. Save the JSOOP jar file in the root location of your project. Remember, we'll need to add a project reference to this jar file for multiple projects, so save it in a central location. Now we'll add the jar file to the libraries as a reference. Right click on the libraries folder in the project and click add jar folder. This will allow us to locate and add the JSOOP jar file to the project so we can start using it. Now we'll need to test JSOOP to make sure it's working correctly. Copy the sample Java code from the jsoup.org website. Now paste it into the main method. Add an import for the org.jsoup.jsoup and org.jsoup.document. Then wrap the sample code in a try catch block. Now run the project. It should build successfully and show no output. If you have errors, make sure you follow the steps in the exact order and have the exact code. Now we'll modify the sample code to give us some output. Our first change will be changing the selector value to get all anchors. We can do this by changing the value in the doc.select to A. Next, we'll iterate through each element in the links collection and print out the href value. We'll use an enhanced for loop for this since we'll be doing a read-only operation and do not need to know the current index. We can find the href value by using an attribute accessor function for each element. Now, run the program again and we should see each anchor href value, one per line. In this episode, we set up our initial NetBeans project, downloaded JSOOP and added it to our project, and did a test by downloading a web page and printing out the href values. In the next episode, we'll start organizing our project to make it enterprise ready.